everybody. Uh, so in one of the last videos I did about uh, tabs, I, I was covering the new tab, uh, the new tabs and the tab buttons that were included in the beta 15 update for uh, Ionic 4. And somebody left a comment on that that said, uh, hi, can you please proceed a step further as to how to add a badge against an ion tab button, listen to tab button events, selected, unselected, uh, to activate or deactivate the badge. Uh, so I thought I'd try something a little bit different and perhaps uh, respond to some of the comments that people are leaving. Uh, if you leave a comment requesting me to walk through something that uh, perhaps some other people could benefit from, uh, I might create a video on that. And this format's probably good for things like this where it's like, uh, uh, perhaps it might not suit like a full proper video tutorial or blog tutorial, but uh, just some little things I guess we can walk through on screen. So. In terms of adding the badge itself, uh, that's uh, still quite simple with the new tabs. Uh, really, it's just a matter of dropping in the ion badge component into the tab button. As I mentioned in the other tab video, uh, we can now pretty much just supply whatever we want to this ion tab button component, and that's going to display our tab for us. Uh, so in this case, we can just drop the ion badge uh, straight into the tab button and then we have our badge in there. So of course you could add a little bit of styling to this if you want, but I mean, that's basically uh, that's basically what you'd want your tab badge to look like. Uh, perhaps the more interesting part of this question is the um, question around listening to tab uh, events. I'm not 100% sure what the commenter was asking to do exactly, but I think what they mean is, say when we are switching to some other tabs or switching to the about tab that we could do something or change the styling of this badge. And so it's important to know with a, a lot of the Ionic components, they have other methods available that we can use. And if we bring up the, the documentation for the tabs, uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see uh, what methods uh, this component provides. And we can actually make use of some of these to see what the currently selected tab is and when uh, tabs are changing. And so you see we have these events here, we have ion change, ion nav did change, and a couple others. So we can actually use this to check when a tab changes. And we can also use uh, get selected to see what the currently selected tab is. So we can make use of those in our uh, tab page here. So if we just grab a reference to our tabs, uh, by using ViewChild, and I'll link to another tutorial on using ViewChild if you're not familiar with that. Uh, but basically, we're just grabbing a reference uh, to our tabs, to this Ion Tabs component, and then we can use or access the methods and events that provides. So what I've done for this example is I've uh, set up a, a, a subscription to this Ion Change event here. So whenever Ion Change is triggered, I uh, handle the event. And so I'm just using this to basically, so every time that the tab is changed, I wanna run some code. And inside of there, I'm uh, getting the currently selected tab. And then I'm setting that selected tab as the selected tab name. So if I just log this out, if we just log out uh, selected tab name, and we'll jump into the browser so you can see now already over here, it says about, and that's the currently selected tab. And as I switch between these tabs, you can see the name of that tab popping up. And so we can make use of that to change this badge conditionally if we wanted to. So now that we know what the currently active tab is, I could, for example, come into this, uh, the template here and say rather than just applying uh, the danger color, Maybe I want to apply that conditionally. So I'll bind to attribute.color and then we're just gonna run a little condition here. So we'll check the selected tab name and we'll check to see if that is equal to about. And if it is equal to about, we will set the, uh, the color attribute to primary or actually we had, we'll use danger. And then if it isn't about, then we'll just use uh, a color of light. So if I save that now, and we'll jump back into the browser again. And you can see now, since we're on the contact tab currently, 
the badge there with the 11 on it just has the light styling, so it's just gray. Uh, but if we switch to it, you can see that that coloring changes to the danger coloring, so it's red. So it gives it more uh, focus when we're on it. Uh, that might not be what you want, but I'm just trying to demonstrate here that we can conditionally change this, uh, this badge if we know what tab we're currently on. So I'm not sure if that addresses what the commenter was really after or not, but hopefully uh, whether or not that's the exact thing, um, this can be changed a bit and using that same sort of method of checking what the current tab is and then doing something conditionally, uh, you should be able to achieve uh, whatever you want. Okay, so this is the first sort of video I'm doing uh, in this style where I'm just responding to a, a kind of random question, I guess. Uh, if you do like this, uh, let me know. I'll do more of them in the future. Uh, if you have something you want me to cover in this video format, uh, do feel free to leave a comment. Keep in mind that uh, for a lot of stuff, I probably won't get to it. Uh, I'll probably be more likely to do videos on things that I think uh, a lot of people in general might benefit from rather than really hyper specific things that probably only apply to one person. Uh, but either way, feel free to leave a comment and yeah, I may or may not make a video on it. Okay, so I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.